What's up, you guys? I'm going to talk about the Tron TRX and BitTorrent BTT Justin Sun live stream that took place a few hours ago. But before I get into that, if you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys. I appreciate you more than you could possibly imagine. If you're new to the channel, occasionally we do do giveaways here. And in order to participate, there's three things you need to do that take a few seconds. Well, one of them takes a little more than a few seconds, but you need to hit the bell, subscribe, and then comment down below because what we do is we pick people out of the commenters and then we let you know during one of the videos if you were the person that was selected for our giveaway or tech giveaway that we do do occasionally as I said. So if you can do those three things real quick before we get started, we'll make sure that we don't miss out, well that you don't miss out if you get selected. All right you guys, so early this morning, not too early, but there was a live webcast today and you know what tron trx made a very big announcement in a way that may not be clear to a lot of people so we all know most of us that sun.io is going to be sunswap but what i think a lot of people are missing here is that tron has kept the message for BitTorrent and tron trx on point They've never changed it, and with all the doubters that say that they're just smoke and mirrors, I'm going to prove to you today that they are not. And they basically announced that they are going to build, and they are closer than ever to building, a brand new internet within the internet. And this is going to come to fruition. Again, not investment advice, just my opinion. Just pretend I'm sitting here like a, well quite frankly, blithering, untuned in, illogical, completely set to be an entertainment machine, not to be taken seriously. So do your own due diligence, do your own research, regardless of what I say, make sure you always cover your own back and get informed. But I am going to prove to you that they have stayed on point and on message, not because a lot of you maybe need that, but sometimes we all doubt at certain points in time, frankly, decisions that we make, decisions that we've made that we were confident in that perhaps, you know, we do reach a little bit of a level of doubt at some point in time. And this plays with our head. So I want to make sure that that does not happen. And I'm going to point out something that I think a lot of you may have not thought of. Some of you will have. But I think a lot of people don't see it as clearly as this. And it's very much worth mentioning. So we had the live webcast. The easiest place to see it is on his Twitter. If you're interested in going to rewatch it, it is sitting there. But they did cover. And I'm just going to do a little summary of some of the things that I found to be basically interesting and, and noteworthy. So games, you know, there's a different way of looking at, at games and GameFi. It's a different form of mining. So you have the old style mining where everyone goes out, sets up their mining rigs. And, you know, in some cases you have office space that really is just has, you know, millions of dollars in equipment, servers, computers, you name it, you get the idea. Then you have people that were mining at home using, you know, a few mining rigs and trying to make money that way. Well, GameFi is a new type of miner in the sense that, for example, because of BTTC, because of the launch, because of the interoperability of being able to trade the TRC tokens, being able to go cross chain and breaking down all those borders, there's going to be, and there currently is with Wink, some good GameFi action happening. You're going to be able to build your own derby, basically, uh, as I call it, your own water cooler. You know, I intended to look at some notes, actually, but I'm just going off the cuff like I typically do for the most part. And if I need to, I'll take a look at my notes um, as we go along here. However, you're going to be able to basically build your own derby horse racing if you're into that sort of thing. And if you're not, a lot of people are. And this, believe me, gives a lot of um, northern power behind the sticky water cooler that I always talk about, which keeps people coming back for more and more similar to a video game. And this is where the metaverse comes into effect because what is happening is with this one particular game, and there's going to be a ton of them. However, uh, it was mentioned during the live stream and it can act as because you can sell your horses off um, from what I understand as an NFT, the, this NFT sale of the horses, I believe has been delayed into 
locked uh, November rather 2021. I believe you cannot do it currently at this moment. However, you can make money playing the game, building out your your own horse racing derby, if you will, and then and or if you decide that you don't want to do that, you can sell off um, your NFT horses. So there's a lot that is coming to fruition. And going back to what I said about them staying on message. So in 2018, and I'm going to get to this in a minute, because I, I would like to show you this in 2017 or 2018, I believe that it was so but here before I do that, here's the live stream that I'm talking about, that you can go tune in on. Now look at this article, you guys, this article is from June 18th, 2018. And the message Tron says its mission is to build a truly decentralized internet and its infrastructure. So BTTC is basically doing this. It is breaking down the borders and it is making it possible a lot easier to be able to train and maneuver about with the cryptocurrencies, similar to the way Ethereum allows movement to take place. So the, here's the message. Tron says its mission is to build a truly decentralized internet and its infrastructure. And it's from 2018. It's a TechCrunch article. Then you have this is a tweet BitTorrent sent out after they were bought, which means the messaging is now coming from Tron, 1.34 a.m. July 24th, 2018. Tron to build the future of the decentralized internet. So what they're in effect saying is they are building a new internet within the internet. This message has been constant. GameFi DeFi is going to be a huge part of this and the metaverse where you will have an internet within the internet that allows you to exist, run a parallel universe of existence internet wise where you will be able to earn money, make money, play games, make money playing games and then that will be able to basically cross over into the old internet for now that allows you to buy the things you need daily and function daily with your banking transactions your cryptocurrencies and everything else so this is on the verge of coming to fruition fruition this is on the verge of coming to fruition i hope i'm coming across clear to you guys so that you all see that in my opinion you've made a great decision the future is so so flashlight blindingly bright and there's just great things happening and the messaging has never ever changed so for all the people that try to cause a short situation for all the media out there that tries to basically take them down you can look yourself and if they t say to you hey listen you're punch drunk well you know what reading something that's from reputable sources that's been in writing and the message that stayed on point since day one that's nothing punch drunk not too many companies keep that message and keep it constant the problem is is that it's a confusing industry so there's a lot of terms there's a lot of news stories there's a lot of things that get thrown around and it's not simple as i say to build a successful company it's even harder when you're dealing with a new technology and you know new frontiers that are not well quite frankly a lot of them have never even been traveled quite intricately yet so the fact that they're there have a successful business is huge beyond the infrastructure being built out for the general public in a way that everyone can participate and that the interactivity can be so sticky and exciting that people return day after day week after week when there's an existing internet to already compete with this is creating a second internet they're doing a great job so the short story is here be proud of your decisions because you're in a good place in my opinion you're in a great place so i want to go on to now if we go to present day look whoops we got two days ago on october 26 2021 tron is a decentralized virtual machine that was built to help usher in the decentralized internet nobody can say that there's any flip-flopping here whatsoever now you know during the um during the live cast the live stream rather so just looking at how i am for time here 
So we said that BTT launched the end of October and then Testnet launch is going to be in November as well. BTTC, Tron, Ethereum and Binance layer two um, and the cross chain communication across BTTC is going to be compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine and MetaMask as well. So they're doing really everything that they can. There's a billion dollar development reward fund for building the BTTC platform um, and the same for, for Tron as well. So every single incentive, you know, for developers is there. The, the writing is on the wall. It's very obvious for anyone that wants to see if you want to blow past the naysayers, the hype machine um, of everything and just look at the facts, you can plainly see that this is going in a great place and everyone that's involved is going to have a great time because innovation, you are witnessing innovation weekly, monthly, being built out piece by piece. It's going to be a great ride. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And it's going to be something that you're going to be able to tell your grandkids about one day. That's my opinion. I promise you that. I hope this finds you healthy, happy as usual. I will see you on the next video.